Mother. I, I'd like you to meet a friend of Lucas and ours. This is uh, Judy Williams. How do you do, Judy? Hello, Mrs. Preston. I just love your Lena Horn. <laughs> Oh, yes, very much. You know who else I like? Diane Ross. No, I think you mean Diane Carroll. No. Oh, maybe she means Diana Ross. Uh, which is the one who doesn't know the way to San Jose? <laughs> Mother, that's Dionne Warwick. Well, I like her, too. <laughs> I like them all. <laughs> Welcome back to the RET Network. Today, we're delving into another episode of the new Dick Van Dyke show. Picture this, it's 1971, the year All in the Family debuted, and Dick Van Dyke is taking on a more modern vibe. In this episode, titled Midterm Dinner, originally aired on October 2nd, 1971, Dick and Jenny are thrilled when their son Dan brings a date home. Hi, sweetheart. Where are you? At the bus station. Ah, oh, hey, is your girlfriend Sandy with you? No, my girlfriend Judy. Oh, whoo. But, surprise, it's not all smooth sailing when Dan's girlfriend Judy turns out to be African American. Join us as we explore the social dynamics of the 1970s in this thought-provoking episode on the RET Network. Supposing a guy comes up to you in a dark alley, huh? Right. You give him this, you give him this, and you give him this. Suppose he just wanted to ask directions. <laughs> give him this. I don't, what do you want to fool with this stuff for, anyway? Dick, the world is full of violence. You've got to be prepared to defend yourself. How do you defend yourself like that? <laughs> That's just a preparation. You want to see the move? Yeah. Now watch this. First, you set yourself, see? Hi, Barry. And you go, hi <laughs> Jumping. <laughs> hey, Dick, did Jenny tell you what time she wanted us over for dinner tomorrow night? Uh, 7, 7.30, you're wrong in there. Uh, you gonna bring Mom? Well, I will, but we'll be late. What? Well, because every time I go over 30 miles an hour, she pinches me. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Preston, Joe. Oh, yeah, put him on. Your son's calling. Lucas? He wasn't doodle for I hope he's all right. Hi, sweetheart. Where are you? At the bus station. Ah, oh. hey, is your girlfriend Cindy with you? No, my girlfriend Judy. Oh, whoo. well, you sure didn't waste any time, did you? The bus too short. Is Dad there? Yeah, he's right here, honey. Hold on. He's at the bus station. Oh, okay. Hi, Lucas. How are you? Oh, they're very anxious to see you. How are exams? Oh, painful. Hey, listen, I caught the early bus. Can you pick us up now? Oh, I can't, Lucas. I've got a meeting with the sponsor. Oh. Well, how about Mom? No, Mom. Mom's at the uh, hairdresser. Mike. I've got to finish the schedule. Oh. Let me talk to the kid. Oh. Hi, Lucas. You, you got enough money for a taxi? Yeah, sure. Good. I'll pick you up. <laughs> I'll give you the student rate. <laughs> I'm on my way. Thanks, Bernie. You're lucky I got a yellow car. <laughs> hey, Lucas, what's, what's your new girlfriend's name? Judy. Judy, right. Hey, whatever happened to Sandy, we never even got to meet her. Cindy. I'm sorry. Boy. I can't keep up with you. That's the third one this year, isn't it? Oh, that I told you about. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Listen, we'll see you at home tonight. Okay, bye. How long will he be home? Oh, he'll be here about a week. He'll be home about four and a half hours. <laughs> Judy? 
Hmm? Bernie's gonna pick us up. Oh, who's Bernie? He's my dad's manager. You'll like him. Well, I hope he likes me. He'll love you. Well, have you told your folks I'm glad? My folks? Judy, I don't have to tell them. They'll see it the minute you walk in the door. <laughs> How do you do, my dear, my dear? Hi. I'm Bernie, your chauffeur. If you will give me your bag, I shall escort you to my car and we shall away to find food, great conversation, and the most fantastic week of your life. How does that sound? Sounds fantastic. Ah, young Lucas. My compliments, the lady is beautiful. Well, she certainly is. Who is she? <laughs> Who is she? Who is she? Who are you? Who do you think I am? Isn't she? No, she's not. This is Judy. This is my father's manager, Bernie Davis. <laughs> Hi, Judy. <laughs> you see, I mistook her for you. It, it's a simple mistake. You do understand. <laughs> Oh, hi, Mr. Johnson. I'm Dan Reeves. I'm not Mr. Johnson. Isn't that your father? No, Dan. This is Bernie Davis. <laughs> Who's Bernie Davis? Me. I'm Dick Preston's manager. Well, who's Dick Preston? Isn't he the one on TV? Right. Yes. Wow. Well, how do you do, Mr. Davis? Hi, Dan. Hi. And this is his son, Lucas. Oh, and that's Judy. I thought she was her. <laughs> but, but she's with him, and you're with her. And I'm with them, and this is hers, and I'll see you around. <laughs> What was that all about? I don't know, but we just blew a fantastic week at Dick Preston's house. <laughs> Hi, Annie. How's my girl? I'm fine. Guess what? Mommy's giving me my own hair dryer. Terrific. Yeah, this is Judy. Judy, this is my little sister, Annie. Hi, Annie. Hi, Judy. Look, Judy, we both have the same boot. Hey, we sure do. I didn't know they made them so little. Just how close does it have to get to Christmas for you to say hello to me? Hi, Uncle Bernie. Hi, Miss Lucas. Hey, where's Mom and Dad? They're washing up. Well, come on, Judy. I'll show you to your room. Okay. Judy, it's right back. It's mine. If you leave the bathroom door open, we can talk all night. Oh, good. That sounds like fun. Bye, Uncle Bernie. Lucas really picks out the pretty one. Probably takes you after your father. Look at the pretty one he picked out. Who? Your mommy. I thought you meant me. Hey, did I just hear Lucas? Yeah, they're upstairs putting away the luggage. Judy's really pretty, Daddy. Judy's pretty? I'm not surprised. You want to bet? <laughs> hey, honey, the kids are home. There he is. How you doing, Luke? Hey, Dad, how are you? Oh, couldn't be better. Let me look at you. You son of a gun. You've been working out. <laughs> Will you look at that? And about this much more there, too. <laughs> hey, where's Dookie? Juicy. <laughs> Well, let's all sit down. <laughs> we'll just all sit down. Yeah, that's comfy. That's good. We'll just relax. <laughs> oh, yeah. Boy, I'm telling you, it's great to have you home again, Lucas. You're so good. Miss Press will be out in a minute. She's in there just putting on the finishing uh, touches. Honey, finish touching. <laughs> It's so great to have you. Isn't it great having Lucas home again? Yes, Daddy. Yes, yeah, great. You have a lovely home here, Mr. Preston. Oh, goodness. <laughs> we just have the, the one house. Oh, Dad. Well, I mean, you know, some people have a house in the country and everything. We just, we just have what we have. It looks a lot more expensive than it is. Falling apart. <laughs> I... What? What, Bernie? <laughs> I gotta be getting home. No kidding. Oh. Carol's gonna kill me. Yeah. It's really nice to meet you. Joel. Oh, nice meeting you. That's what I'll see you to the door. That's not necessary. Oh. Right, right there. Right. Yeah, so long, Bernie. Thanks a lot for the lift. Bye, Uncle Bernie. Goodbye, sweetness. <clears throat> well. Daddy, notice anything funny about Judy? No. <laughs> The same, how do you like that? The same boots you've got. <laughs> oh, gosh, this is great having you home. Just one big hat. <laughs> I, I think I'll go see why my wife isn't with me. So Lucas, keep the party alive. Why aren't you with me? Well, honey, I'm almost finished. Hey, how does Lucas look? Oh, he looks great. Good. What's Judy like? <laughs> She's you don't nice. like her? Oh, no, she's nice. And black. <laughs> she is? Mm hmm. 
Well, I didn't mean nice and black. I meant nice and black. <laughs> I mean, nice is one thing and black is another, you know. I'm mean, really <laughs> Nice first was because she was nice first and then she was black. I think I understood you. Honey, you should have seen me out there. I made a fool of myself. I didn't know what to say to her. Why? Well, she's not exactly what I expected, that's all. Was well, she pretty? She's beautiful. What's the matter with that kid? Why didn't he tell us? The day before yesterday, he was going to bring some girl named Cindy here. Okay, calm down. Next week, it'll be somebody else. Oh, uh, the dinner tomorrow night? What about it? It's just a dinner. It's not just a dinner. Mom's coming. Ah. <laughs> uh. She wouldn't start up with Judy, would she? Honey, she'd start up with Harry Belafonte. <laughs> I'm reliving. Guess who's coming to dinner? I know. I want to call her and tell her not to come. Uh, you can't do that. Listen, maybe she won't say anything. She'll say something. Mom, coming? Yeah, coming. Listen, don't worry about your mom. Maybe I can fix something up with the seating arrangement. Yeah, we put it on the yard. <laughs> Look at Oh, how are you? Oh, welcome back. Let me look at you. You cut your hair. Oh, I, I, I cut it short for you, Mom. <laughs> Looks like a Marine. <laughs> Mom, I'd like you to meet Judy. Hi, Judy. Hi, Mrs. Preston. I'm glad you could come and spend a few days with us. Oh, thank you. I hope I'm not putting you out. Not at all. If you need anything, just ask. I'll ask her if I can have the car keys. <laughs> oh, look, so this is just got home. Well, we'll be back, Mom. I just want to show Judy around the neighborhood. How long will you be gone? Oh, an hour or two. We might stop at Bobby Rogers' place. He's making a thing. Well, are you going to work in some time to talk with me on this visit, or am I going to have to make a thing? You're making the thing tomorrow night. I promise to be at your thing, Mom. All night. Okay, that's the deal. Okay. Have fun. We will. Mm. Here you go. Need any money? Dad. Sorry. Of course I need money. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Judy. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey. Annie, if you're still awake when I come in, we'll talk, okay? I'll be awake. All right, see you. Hey, be sure to use those seatbelts. Well, shouldn't I drive carefully? No, just be sure to bring the car black. Back. <laughs> Two football stars, rivals, best friends. You and me, starting backfield, what do you say? <laughs> Brian Piccolo has cancer. I'm not going to let it stop me. I love you, Brian. The story of Gail Sayers and Brian Piccolo. How they lived. How one died. Brian's song. After 12. Yeah, I know, honey. Don't be concerned. I'm not concerned. You're not at all concerned, are you? Hmm. How come you haven't turned a page in the last hour? Huh? Oh, thank you. <laughs> honey, Lucas is a good driver. Yeah, no, I wasn't thinking about that. Judy, huh? I hope we reacted to her the way he wanted us to. Oh, you were perfect. I made all the mistakes a nervous parent could possibly make. <laughs> well, can you imagine how your parents would have acted if you brought home a black girl? My father would have called the police. <laughs> what? To report that his wife just shot his son. <laughs> you never dated a black girl, did you? No, they never even thought of it. Well, Lucas did. He never thought twice or even once about it. Mm -hmm. That's good, Dick, isn't it? It's great. Well, no, it's not great. It's good. <laughs> what would be great is if we didn't have to sit here and talk about it. Hmm. You mean just as if she were another girl? Yeah. How do you really feel about Lucas dating Judy? Well, in some ways, it pleases me. Then when I think that he might marry a black girl... Well, honey, he's only 16 years old. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but in a few years he'll be an adult, and that's something to think about. Mm -hmm. How would you feel about, about Lucas marrying a girl like Judy? Me, a black girl? Yeah. How would you feel? I don't know. It's funny. You know, if you'd asked me that last week, I'd say, if they're in love with each other, fine. But now, you know that, you know that I've seen him with a black girl, and you ask me the question, I don't know. It's my, my opinions and my feelings don't match. It's funny, it's that I thought I knew myself better than that. Tell you one thing, I wouldn't do anything to stop him. You wouldn't? Well, yeah, I, 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 you know, I'd, I'd tell him the, the problems they'd have to face. No, I wouldn't either, they know. Well, what do you think? Yeah, pretty much the same way you do. Well, that's a huge step forward from the last generation, anyway. It's a whole staircase from your mother. <laughs> you know what makes this whole thing so stupid? If I were black, but the same way that I am now, but black, you wouldn't have married me. Well, yeah, but if, if even if I wanted to, you might not want to marry me because it was white, see? 
Yeah, that's right, too. And then we wouldn't have had Lucas or this discussion. <laughs> that's right. Let's go to sleep. Okay. Oh! Mom, Dad, you awake? Yeah? Yeah, Luke, come on in. Hi. Hi. Everything okay? Yeah, here's your keys, Dad. Thanks. Where's Judy? She went to bed. Did you have a good time? Yeah. Mom, Dad, can I ask you something? Sure, Lucas. Well, you remember my girlfriend Cindy I told you about? The one you were going to bring. Yeah, what about her? I ran into her night at Bobby's place, and we hit it off like old times. You back with Cindy again? Just like nothing ever happened. <laughs> what happened to Judy? Well, she thinks it's great. She likes Cindy. Well, what'd you want to ask us, Lou? Well, I wanted to know if it was okay if Cindy came over for dinner, too. Really? Sure, go ahead and ask her. I already did. <laughs> we'll have a chance to meet her. Oh, by the way, I filled up the car with gas. You filled it up? Sure. You left your credit card in the glove compartment. Oh. <laughs> oh. He's back with Cindy again. You relieved? Yeah, I'm afraid I am. Well, it looks like our concern was for nothing. Well, it wasn't for nothing. Found out we're not as modern and as liberal as we thought we were. Yeah, well, that's a good thing to find out. We can work on that. At least it'll make it easier when your mother comes tomorrow night. We can introduce Judy as just a friend. Oh, yeah, great. Hi, Mom. This is Judy. She's just a friend. Go sit in the yard. <laughs> Honey, there is no way that it's going to be easy tomorrow. Yeah, you're right. Now, that's a picture of Mr. and Mrs. Preston before they were married. Hey, they look the same way they do now. Ooh, thank you. Uh, hey, don't fill up on candy and peanuts. I'm having a 20-pound turkey. Congratulations, Jenny. <laughs> you, you see, Carol and I can't have a turkey of our own, so we plan to adopt. Bernie. That's funny, Uncle Bernie. You have to have your own show. Shh. You're so right, sweetness. The Bernie Davis Show. A 30-minute trip down boring lane. <laughs> Oh. Isn't Auntie Carol cute? Huh? Annie? Huh? Isn't she darling? You want her? <laughs> we're only joking. She loves my jokes. <laughs> Bernie, please. We're in a group. Don't talk. <laughs> Judy, would you like more tomato juice? Oh, no thanks. I'm going to save room for that turkey. Hey, where's Luke and Cindy? Oh, they should be along in a minute. Well, where's Dick? He's out in the yard waiting for Mom. <laughs> Good for you. You finally banned her from the house. <laughs> no, he just wants to have a little talk with her before dinner. Well, according to your guest list, I'm not the one that should be using the back door. Mother. Mother, Mother indeed. Now, what is it you wanted to tell me about this person? Just exactly that, Mom, that she is a person. Oh, surely you can't have so little regard for your own mother that you would think she would embarrass you in your own home. Oh, no. I'll treat her with the same respect I treat Hattie. Oh, Mother, that's not good enough. You treat Hattie as though you personally freed her. <laughs> been my maid for 23 years and she has never quit. Mother, I've been your daughter longer than that and I haven't quit either. <laughs> that doesn't mean that the thought hasn't entered our mind. Michelle! Uh, <clears throat> Mike, would you go in and tell Jenny we're here? We'll be in a minute. See you later, Missy Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening to that girl? And now she'll let her go to college. <laughs> Mom, I don't want to, and I won't give you a lecture on race relations. No need to. Right. I simply ask a favor from a mother to a son. Oh, come now, Richard. I'm well aware that the times have changed, and if Lucas has a friend who's a darky... Mom! <laughs> those words that you use, darky and piccaninny, they're wrong. Oh, Richard, I never use those words. Mom, you just used one. Well, no, not in front of them. Lawrence? <laughs> Hello. Oh, hello, Jennifer. Good to see you. We haven't seen you in a long time. Yes. <laughs> well, uh, shall we go in and uh, meet your guest? Go right ahead. I'll be along in a minute. What do you mean you'll be along in a minute? I have to face the turkey. <laughs> and the priest rolls down the window and he says, You don't understand, officer. I'm Father Fox. And the cop says, I don't care if your mother goose, you're getting a tick. <laughs> oh, there's my little darling. Hiya, Mrs. Preston. Uh, hello, Bernard. That was a very funny joke, Bernard. But I don't approve of jokes about the clergy, especially in mixed company. <laughs> Hello, Carol. Hi, Mrs. Preston. Why, you sit by Grandma, darling. <coughs> uh, Mother, I I'd like you to meet a friend of Lucas and ours. This is uh, Judy Williams. 
How do you do, Judy? Hello, Mrs. Preston. I just love your Lena Horn. <laughs> Yes, very much. You know who else I like? Diane Ross. No, I think you mean Diane Carroll. No. Oh, maybe she means Diana Ross. Uh, which is the one who doesn't know the way to San Jose? <laughs> Mother, that's Dionne Warwick. Well, I like her, too. <laughs> I like them all. <laughs> oh, Mother, don't you like any white singers? Oh, I like Kate Smith, and Jeanette McDonald, and Katherine Grayson. And Deanna Durbin. Yeah, her too. <laughs> you see, as long as a person has talent, I don't care what color they are. <laughs> yes. Oh, uh, yes. Well, why should I be talking about singers to you? Because when it comes to rhythm, well... <laughs> Oh, hi, Dan. Sorry, we're Hi. Live. This is Cindy. Oh. 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 Marcy, you want to see What are you doing today? We're having the over on Fresh Shark Nose. Oh, come right in. Delighted to have you. Hi, Mike. Hi, sweetheart. This is my beautiful aunt, Mike. Hi. And my little sister, Annie. Hi, Annie. That's Bernie Davis. Hi, Annie. Hi, Annie. And that's Carol Davis. Hi. And this is my grandmother, Mrs. Preston. Hi, Mrs. Preston. How are you doing? What's it out, Cindy? Are you related to Judy? <laughs> We're just friends. Uh, well, you do look alike. Hey, let's all have dinner. Mom, get in the kitchen and help Jenny with the turkey. Let's eat. Let's get to the table. Boy, I'm stopping. Honey, we deserve a drink, and I got a great toast. Just let me finish the dishes. Listen, we can't let this day go by without a celebration. Everything went great. Everybody loved your food. Honey, I'm sorry I couldn't eat anything. <laughs> Three helpings. I did? Mm. I don't even remember it. Is there anything left? I'd like to taste it. You realize how lucky we were? Lucky was the best of all possible worlds. You know, after she met Cindy, I couldn't believe it. Not a put down, not an insult, not a snide remark. Not a word, not a smile. Not a goodbye. <laughs> really? Great toast. I actually learned this from a very wise nine year old. Does she live in this house? The little blonde kid, yes. Oh, yeah. She said this just before I kissed her goodnight. Roses are red, violets are blue, so why can't people be colors too? I'll drink to that. Kenny Tell Records presents another great new stereo LP. Funny, solid hits, funny original stars, the Raiders. Cherokee people. Tommy James. I'm coming home. The Staff Peters. Sweet, sweet, sweet city woman. Honey Cole. Davy Jones, Wilson Pickett, Delaney, Bonnie, and Friends, and many more. 20 solid hits, 20 original stars on one stereo LP. Only $3.99. More coffee, Dick? I don't think we have time, honey. The bus leaves in a half an hour. John, I'm ready. Now, just finish. You have time. Dad has to change his tie. Well, huh? I thought I looked good. Blue and beige and egg. <laughs> finish up, Lucas. Hey, have you studied for the history exam? I haven't opened a book since we got here. Well, you can read it on the bus. Yeah, I understand. When are you leaving? In a few minutes. I made you a present. Oh, thank you, Annie. Roses are red, violets are blue. So why can't people be colors, too? Hey, that's great, oh, Annie. Annie that's, that's really great. Beautiful. Well, see, Judy, we don't have to worry about the future of the world. The kids will straighten everything out. <laughs> You're right, Dad? All right, son, the kids will straighten everything out. Very soggy, corn flakes. <laughs> 
Thank you.